after so for today's video i will going to show you how to do the dimensioning in our orthographic projection so first let's just have here in layers let's turn on the dimension okay let's activate the dimension then we can also have the guidelines to lock it out lock this guidelines so that we can uh, not um what they call this, we will not select that line during our dimensioning process, okay? And then after that, we're going to do the dim style. So, dim style, using your command line, you're going to type D-I-M-T or S-T-Y, dim style, and then enter. And then the dimension style manager dialog box will appear. And then the standards, we're going to use the standards where we're going to just modify it, okay? Modify. So, let's go now to the lines. So first here we have your inlines. So all that you have read um, by block or read the by block, I will going to change it into by layer. Okay, the dimension line will turn into by layer. Also the extension line is by layer. Okay, so make sure that's all by layer. Then after that we will going to proceed in symbols and arrow, which we will not um, change any anything because it's um, actually used okay we will going to use the closed field arrow in here and first and second because it's um orthographic projection if we will going to use um the architectural peak in floor plan but now we will going to use the closed field and then we will going to proceed in text and then here in text color we will going to change it by by layer and also here in text alignment, we will going to use aligned with dimension line. So if you will going to see here the free view, and we're gonna click the aligned dimension. If you will going to see here this horizontal dimension, if we're going to change in aligned with dimension line, you can see now the aligned with dimension line. And then for the text style, we will going to use the Arial. So we will going to change it by with this the three dots that you uh, can see here. And then we're going to have that uh, change this in Arial. So make sure that you change it in Arial. And nothing more, nothing less. So we will not change first the height of the text. We will not change that um, first. Uh, we will not change that. And set current and also here. So make sure that it's Arial. And then apply it and then OK. Okay, so just going to have that. So the text... Um, now we're done doing the text and now we're going to have in primary units so for unit format of decimal we will going to use two decimal places okay after the point we're going to use the two decimal places and then we will not going to um, change anything and then okay and then we will going to this standard set current for our dimension and then close and then now we're going to proceed the dimension process so annotate so let's click the annotate here in ribbon then here in dimension top we have here this option this one in 2021 so we have here the linear for la linear the aligned for um aligned angles okay it's aligned then we have here the angular for the angles that we need also the earth length if we are using the arc also, we have the radius for circles, or radius for circles, and also diameter for circles again. The jog creates jog dimension for a special features of a circle or radius and then coordinates. So first, we're just going to use the linear, okay, linear in dimension, dimension. So make it sure that we are using the standard that we have set and also use current, which is the use current dimension okay the dimension layer so we will going to use the dimension layer here okay and then we're just going to create a dimension from here okay i think we're going to unlock the layers because it's the layer of dimension or guidelines ah no let's try first so let's have the line just going to create from here up to here so this will be our measurement so I think it's one for the extension line. Or let's have for about here. 1.5, I think. Okay, it's so too far. Okay, just just like estimate it. Okay. And then again, dimension from here up to here. Just like the figure that you have. So like just this way. And then 
just going to create another dimension from here up to here okay down here then again in here just going to create a dimension here okay also here so make it sure it's aligned to your drawing so 1.5 also here just going to create a line from dimension from here here going here okay and then here just going to create a dimension just like we have in here from here up to here okay make sure it's aligned up here also here from here going here and then last we have click click and then click for the alignment okay and then next we have here from here down here go in here okay so yeah this this one from here go in here and then just align in here in here okay and then we're done doing our dimension so you can actually change your text height if it's so so small so using the text style theme style modify it in text height so you can have it's the text height we need for example like about 0.5 let's see 0.5 yes close okay and then set current close so you can see that <laughs> it's actually too bigger so 0.5 it's not too bigger so let's just change it another one so make sure that you know the process in changing it so if we use the 0.5 so we can use actual 20, 0.25 so because we have only small this one okay so make sure that your scale is actually 1.5 okay this is this one 1.5 here in status bar and i hope you have learned something today because if we we're going to see in here it's actually the monochrome and then you're just going to change it in pdf file just create again and then just just going to look all this and then we're done doing our Artographic projection with layers and with dimensions and text. I hope that you enjoyed today's session. Bye!